In this video, I'm going to be reviewing my experience with the Vinici Pram. <laughs> to answer your question straight away, is Vinici worth the price point? Yes, they really, really are. We are joined by this little one who is teething, by the way, so I'm quite curious to how this video is going to go. She is now nine months old, so I've been using the pram for about nine months now. I want to first talk about the baby carrier one, which is now up in the loft. I'm not going to go up in the loft and bring it down, but I'll pop a picture right here so you know what I'm talking about. She stayed in it until she was about five months old. It was very easy to clean, very easy to use. The one downside to it was the three levels it gives as an option to have your baby kind of sitting up. Now, every time I put it, let's say, on even the medium level or the highest level, Mia just kept sliding down. There was no harness for her to like secure her in. So even though she was four or five months old, she wanted to kind of sit up and view the world a little bit. But every time she did, she just kept sliding down. And that's why she actually moved into this a little bit faster than she should have. But before we get onto this, I just want to talk about the car seat very quickly. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Go! As you can see, it has very much been used. After about a month, two months, oh, she's going for the tripod. Don't do it! And let me see you up here with mummy. As I was saying, she grew into the second one quite quickly, to be fair, but I'm glad it had that option there. These adjust differently, so one may be lopsided. It is very easy to clip in as well. It's adjustable as well, of course, so if you need it to be tighter, you just put it down here and it tightens it back up. This was very easy to take on and off, as you can see. I wish this was like retractable in a way though, because at the moment it stays like this, so if you to push it back, you kind of have to... It was just a little bit of a nuisance, always taking it off, putting it somewhere, putting it back on. Mm. It doesn't fold up easy. It's not like, oh yeah, you can just put it somewhere and it folds up easily. No, it does not fold up easily. This I found was quite stiff. Like, you have to proper... Oh, God. Get into it at first, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Over time, it does become easier. Right, Mimia, do you want to come demonstrate? <laughs> She's nine months now, though, so... Technically, she shouldn't be in this anymore, and I have bought myself a bigger car seat. Perfect. So, to show you that it retracts very easily. Whee! Perfect. Here, and it clips in. And then you just tighten it like so. Moving on to the buggy now. Mia is still at the first level. Because she went into it at five months old, this part here wasn't high enough, so I do wish there was another little slot here because I did have the same issue with her sliding down, but she was actually more content in here than being in the baby carrier. This removes itself, as you can see, so if you want to clean it, you can clean it and it goes back on quite easily as well. Because she's still quite small, I have this all the way up, so her legs don't go over anywhere and she can just stay nice and secure. I love the fact that there are three levels because when I take her on a walk, I always have it around here. But my dad's really tall, so he puts it all the way up to the top. He's about six foot, so he needs that level there. This is actually really good on sunny days, this extended bit here. So it goes all the way down and it shades her completely. But she can't see a thing. <laughs> Again, this is fantastic. The top view here that you can see easily into her. The cup holder that comes with it, you have to buy a, either a small cup or the one that actually comes with the pram, so a Vinici cup. Otherwise, your cups will not fit into it. How many times do I just say cup? Cup, 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 cup. I like to have it facing around this way, but remember, it's really easy to turn around. All you need to do is click one side if you're by yourself. You don't need to hold down the clicks, and then you click the other side, and then it's pulled out nice and easy and you can just switch it around make sure it's both in the slots and then really this is a super duper easy pram to work with now to close it it did take a little bit of getting used to you unclip it with the front wheels you've got to make sure they are facing that way at the moment they're facing this way 
you want them facing that way so you can close the prow. So turn it around so they're facing like so. And then you click here, push down, pull up and close straight away and then back. It's nice and easy and then that will go straight into the car. If you've got a small car like I do, I kind of had to put this in the back and then I'll put that kind of and then for it to come back out, you simply just Voila! Before we finish, I just want to talk about the rain cover. There's a hole in the middle so you can adjust your baby as you need or anything. But the hole is too, too, too big. It just lets rain in. It does not make sense. Does not make sense. As you can see, this is the hole I am talking about. It just doesn't close up. Does not make sense why this is here at all. It let in so much rain. It just won't close up. It's a really bad design fault, personally. It goes around like so, and the other side, and it clicks in. Really easy, voila. And we're ready. There are also three levels. This is the highest one. <laughs> That's the medium one. And that's all the way down low, as you can tell, she's not ready for this one. Usually I put the laying down one when she needs to go sleep, but most of the time, there you go, she'll have the up one and she likes to hold on to the sides. <laughs> I actually got rid of the, this part here. I just thought it was just too much of a nuisance, just kept getting in the way. I just removed it. I'd rather have her in and out and she can just hold this instead. You're right there. One thing I'm not too keen on is this. So she goes in there and it's like, <laughs> I'm not trying to play a game. It's this part here. It, Here. I think the zip goes like way too high. Vinici also sent me this blanket and I love this blanket. Yes, I really, really do. Usually I'll tuck her in like so. She doesn't want to be tucked in. <laughs> this buggy is most definitely such a a smooth ride. My parents bought themselves their own buggy and I could feel every single like bump and everything in their buggy. In this one it's so smooth, it's mmm, I love it. I've also started to run with her in this buggy so yes I would literally run and push the pram at the same time and it's holding out very well. As I said at the start of this video, I do highly recommend buying from them. This one was £650 and I would buy it again. Mm -hmm. I've linked in the description box the pram that I bought. Just to recap very quickly. You okay? Such a smooth ride, honestly. It is great to pack away, really easy, really fast. I love all these different adjustments that there is as well. The downside is the this part here on the car seat and the rain cover as well. Those are the only two downsides, which ain't too bad, you know? Ah, one more downside, the cup holder that comes with it. Three things out of all the rest is not too bad, you know? Overall, this is a win. Remember to subscribe. Pop any questions you have below and I will happily answer them. And if you would like some free advice from a personal trainer, hit that subscribe button right now. And last but not least, I've released a free program to help you mums get back into shape after having your little one. So go check that out. Bye!